right now it's time to add door and window markers and uh, instead of putting them manually we have a system to add it, them in archicad such that you know that information is used more productively so if we go to the 3d such that we are able to select all doors at the same time instead of uh, putting doors on the ground floor and then on the second floor markers on the first on the ground floor and then on the second floor we can put all of them at once so with this model now i can get to the door tool and i say ctrl a to select all doors so now i am marking all doors at once and now if i go to the settings i can say ctrl t and in this settings dialog, I want to move to dimension marker. So it's here. So under here, we have no marker, which is there by default, but you want to choose a door marker 25. And that is what we will work with. So below here, we have marker geometry and we want to see what that should look like. So if you're interested in any of these shapes to enclose your marker, you can go ahead and choose any. So I'm going to just get rid of it. I don't think I need them. <clears throat> and then we have extension lines. So these are extension lines and I do not need them because I want my marker to be immediately on the door. And we have 20 millimeters of the marker position and I find that to be a little bit big. So I divide by 10. So I make that to be two. And then next is you want to show ID. So ID is the... <clears throat> actually the door number so if i go here under classification just a little you can see that we have id here so this id is where you put the, the door number and we have all doors selected right now so whatever number i put is going to show up on all doors so for example i can put d001 and you know what i think i'm going to use d01 because they are not they are not that many of those so d01 will be fine so now that i have marked this i will i will have to come back and assign each door differently but for now d01 will work for all doors okay <clears throat> So let's go back here, which is uh, under marker symbol and text. So we have said that we need to show ID. So make sure that that is checked. And next, you want to uncheck show dimensions because that will be a lot of information on the floor plan because we already have dimensions in the place. So we don't want to see this. The reason why we are marking the doors is such that we can take some of this information on the <clears throat> schedule so you want to get rid of uh, the short dimensions and then the rest of the things you can add as you like for example if you want to add some fire rating you can always add them here all right so that will be it uh, for for this and of course we need to see how it's going to be shown and for my case i'm going to use any other you know uh, style and then I should see what it would look like and this is what it would look like and I am happy with it. So I'll say OK and then <clears throat> the archicad will process and those markers will be added. So now when we go to the ground floor, you can see that we have some stuff going on. So a couple of things. One is that we have D01, which is on this other side. So we might want to mark to take the marker on this other side. So we might want to flip the marker. And secondly, I feel like it's a little bit big and we can scale it down. And as well, we can change the color to make it resemble the rest of the uh, marks, that, such as the dimensions and the numbering. All right, so let's do that. So in 3D, we should have the doors selected already. Okay, so then we go to Control T and such that we go to the settings of the door. And once this pops up, we want to make sure that we go back to here and reduce how big this is. And in my case, I think 1.5 should do the trick, the magic. And then we can change the, 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 the color. And the other thing that we wanted to do was to go under here 
uh, if we click on text and override settings we can go back to the marker geometry and flip such that the marker is on the opposite side and now once we say okay we should have something up there so if we go back to the ground floor we need to see that these markers have been flipped and they have been made smaller and they have been you know uh, made to look like the rest of the mark or the text okay i am pretty happy and this is exactly what we will do for the windows as well so we will repeat the process by this time we will hit escape to get to get rid of that selection we select the window one and say ctrl a to have all the windows selected and we go ctrl t to go to the settings of the windows and once this menu is here we want to go to the door the window dimension marker and then we say w marker 25 and that's what we will work with and then currently we have flip i don't think flip will be necessary for this for the windows because it usually marks on the outside and then we say remove mark marker header for my case i do not need it and i'd like to remove just about two I don't know what are those millimeters 10 centimeters I think it's two millimeters okay and then next we want to show ID that's what we want to show we do not want to show seal and as we said we saw before under classification and properties we have ID so this is where we put the name the ID or the number of that door of that window so in this case it's window w01 okay so all the windows are going to have w01 but we can always come back and change it okay and then we go back to the like a symbol and text and go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff the dimensions we do not need them it will be too much information and then after that you can add fire rating if you so wish but it's better to add it in the end in the in the schedule and not here and that will be it so if we go to the text we can change it to whatever we want to see and like we did before we can change to make it you know look that, like the rest of the markings and that will be it so this is what it should look like so if we say okay archicad will process and assign the respective markers to each other's place and once it is done we go to the ground floor and you can see that windows have been marked and each window has a w01 and that has been taken into effect uh, on all floors for example if i go to the first floor you can see that we have the markers there and as well if i go to the terrace floor we have ourselves the markers you can see we have d01 and w01 so let's go in and assign the windows uh, their respective markers because currently everything is 001 and we can't afford to have all of them as 001 all right so what we will do is to select these windows you can see these these two are the ones supposed to be 001 so that will be fine and then the second will be this and then the second will be these these ones so i'm going to have them selected and i will assign them as 002 so if i scroll all the way down we have here i will make it two and then the third one will be this one because i see this is the next size i'll make this that d03 and i think this should be the fourth one because it's the next in size okay so we have one two three and four and then we have the fifth one which is supposed to be the interior doors and right now we cannot see them so in order to see them let's enable a 3d cutaway so once you click here on this icon which is on the standard tuba we should have a cutaway a scissor here so we can clip all the way down somewhere i think there we'll do we say okay finalize and we have ourselves this kind of selection and now we can see what's on the inside so i'd like to select this um 
I think this, those will be the final ones. So the fifth door is going to have to be this one. So I'll select this one and this one. They are the same door because you can see they are all 900. And those will be fifth, the fifth door. And then the sixth one will be these doors here, which are for the WC. Okay. So holding down shift and clicking i'm selecting all these doors and i'm going to scroll down here and affect them with d06 okay so these are going to be the sixth <clears throat> door which is the final door and before we leave we can also assign the windows to make them all also the same okay so we have uh, this as the biggest door, the biggest window. So I can make those as, as window window one. And then we can have these <coughs> front ones as the second one, which should be the same size as this. As you select them, all of them are 1.5 by 1.2. And then I'm going to assign these as the second number. And then these are going to be the third number. So hold down shift to make sure you select all of them. And these, if we scroll down, we'll make them W03. And that should reflect on the ground floor. So if we go back down here and check on the ground floor, we should have ourselves the those windows marked properly. Okay, which is pretty exciting so i'm going to go and do the same for the first floor and the third floor such that i have the corresponding you know uh dimensions so it's easy just move this cutting plane to the upper part and finalize it right there so now i can go ahead and assign the respective numbers to the doors okay This guy, this guy. All right. The third floor. Find the noise. Okay, now we can delete this. You don't need it any longer and uh, that will be it. So that's how you can quickly assign door and window markers. And uh, let me see you next time.